Describe the set by referring to the numbered regions. Y complement intersect W intersect X complement. We could also read that as Y prime intersect W intersect X complement. In order to do this problem, we need to fully understand what a Venn diagram is. This is an example of a Venn diagram. We're looking right here at this diagram. And you'll notice that it is a rectangle and it contains this letter here. Remember that all sets are identified by capital letters. And the U is going to describe the universal set. And the universal set will contain all objects in question. Now when we look at this particular universal set, we'll see that we have three subsets. Subset W, subset X, and we're going to have subset Y. In addition to that, you'll notice that there are regions indicated, and then each one of these regions are indicated by an R with a subscript. This is region R sub 1, R sub 2, R sub 3, R sub 4, R sub 5, R sub 6, R sub 7, and R sub 8. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these regions to help us identify what Y prime intersect W intersect X prime is. So let's consider each one of these sets. Let's consider set W and let's consider the regions that are contained in set W. Set W will have region R sub 2, R sub 3, R sub 5, and R sub 6 in it. And we'll write that down. Then the next region that we're going to continue, or the next set that we will consider is set X. And we'll notice that sex, set X is made up of R sub 3, R sub 4, R sub 6, and R sub 7. And then finally we're going to go ahead and consider set Y. And set Y will be made up of four regions also, R sub 5, R sub 6, R sub 7, and R sub 8. Now that we've written this down, we're going to look at just kind of explore some things. Notice that region R sub 6 is right here at the center and you'll notice that it is contained in all three subsets of W, X, and Y. So this right here is the intersection W, X, and Y and we could write that as W intersects X intersects Y. But that's not what we're looking for because when we consider this problem we have these complements right here. So we need to understand what a complement is in order to completely fulfill the requirements of this particular question. And for that I'm going to use a program that I like. It's only available on Windows machines, but it's Windows Paint. It's not a great program. It's also highly underrated, but I use this when I discuss Venn diagrams, and it's also very nice for actually putting together a Venn diagram. So let's look at a Venn diagram real quick. I'm going to draw out a rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and write in my U so that I indicate that this is my universal set. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a subset. And for this subset, let's just call it I don't know, P. That'll work. And you'll note that P is going to be this. That is my subset P. And P prime, which is what we are going to consider next, is going to be outside of P. P prime is going to be everything that's outside of P. And we'll go ahead and we'll indicate that by filling in the area that's P prime. So now we understand or should understand exactly what it means by P and P prime or any set, for example, W and W prime. And in order to continue this problem, we're going to go ahead and look at the original Venn diagram that's given in the problem. So here's the diagram. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at some of this and we're going to make some decisions and we're going to go ahead and it just indicate where some of the sets are and where some of the primes are. So we're going to start with Y. Okay, Y, or in, and we're going to start with Y because that's going to be the first letter that occurs in this particular statement Y prime intersect W intersect X prime. So we start with Y, and I'm going to go ahead and fill Y in. 
so that we get a good look at what Y looks like. This is Y. This area right here represents Y. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that in a little bit better so that we can see this. And then we're going to represent Y prime or outside the set Y, which is going to be here, 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 and here. So now I have Y prime, which occurs outside of the set Y. Now, the next thing we want to do is understand what intersection means. And that's this part right here. We're going to talk about the intersection signal. This means overlap or what's in common. So the overlap or what is in common between sets. And since we read English from left to right, we're going to go ahead and read this from left to right since there are no parentheses that are indicating which intersections we need to do first. So if we start from left to right, we're going to have Y prime intersect W. And that's where we're going to go first. So Y prime intersect W. And I'm just going to kind of put this in parentheses. So let's bring back paint and let's look at this for a moment. We see that Y is the blue and we know that the Y prime is the pink area. So now let's look at the overlap where W overlaps Y prime or Y complement. And that's going to happen right here. This intersection and this intersection. That's where Y prime intersects W. So now I've gone ahead and taken care of this first part, which, as I said, is Y prime intersects W. And now we're going to go ahead and do that and intersect it with X prime. Now remember, X prime is going to be everything that's outside of X. And if you look very carefully, this area is X, so everything outside of X is going to be what we're interested in and what we're looking at. So we'll bring back paint. And remember that we're looking for the intersection, which would be this dark crimson area with anything that is outside of X. Okay? Now remember, here's my X area, this complete circle. Okay? Now X prime is going to be outside of that. X prime is outside the circle. Which means when I look at this, anything that's outside of this circle that is dark crimson is going to be what I am looking for. And when I say dark crimson, we're going to go and look at this area right here. This is outside the circle. And what I want to do is go ahead and understand that we are looking at region 2. And that's going to be the answer for this particular problem. So we can go ahead and say that our answer for this particular problem Y complement or Y prime intersect W intersect X complement or X prime is going to be R sub 2. Now you want to make sure that you understand how to input the answer into my math lab. And you'll come up here when, where the answer field is. Obviously this one was incorrect to start with. That's why it says you answered R6. But we're looking for R sub 4 and what I would do is I would put my cursor in here and then I would left click this area right here which is going to be the palette. For example, if I bring up similar exercise, you'll see that this problem right here shows or says describe the set by referring to the numbered regions Y prime intersect W intersect X prime. I have a clean answer field here and in looking at the same problem that we had before, we'll realize that in this particular case, they've changed up the regions, and this is going to be R sub 2 for 
for my answer so we'll type in R then we'll left click the palette button and then we'll type in 2 and then we'll press enter and there you go